ACMC family, uh, so excited about this new journey in our soap journals uh, through the book of 1 Corinthians and uh, just so thankful for uh, the ability to still connect and to hear stories about how God is moving in everyone's life. And my prayer is that we'll continue to, we'll continue just to dive into this. We'll dive and sit in this word and sit under this word and allow God to speak to us during this time. Because if I know one thing to be true, I know that during this season, we, if we don't lean into who Jesus is for us, then we're going to, we're going to end up in a place where we're leaning to things to satisfy that will ultimately not satisfy us. And so I'm just so thankful for a church that loves the Word of God. I'm so thankful for a pastor that wants to point us to Jesus and His Word and to know Him deeper. And so today in my in my reading for First uh, Corinthians in our soap journal, um, I was just struck by the first verse that we had in verse four, which just says, "I give thanks to my God always for you, because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus." And I love this about Paul. I love that the Apostle Paul, when he starts his letters off, he wants to tell us who he is, but then he wants to point us to his heart for them. And this is what we see in the book of First Corinthians, that Paul's heart, even though later in this book, and or in just a few verses, he's going to press into some issues, that we see a heart of gratitude. We see a heart of thankfulness and um, his his pleasure that he had towards these people, to this church. And I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of our staff's heart, how thankful we are for each and every one of you and how thankful we are for what God has done in you and what God's continuing to do through you. But I, during this season, what, what's hit me, and even this morning reading this and throughout my morning trying to work at home and get some stuff done with the kids around, is how often when we place our thankfulness on the shoulders of those that can't bear the weight of it. So when I try to place all my thankfulness on my wife or all my thankfulness on my children or all my thankfulness on my job or you fill in the blank of where, where you're trying to pull your gratitude from, those things fall short because they're not the provider of what we're thankful for. They're not the good giver and the 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 one that is providing these avenues for our thankfulness. Paul says it's not the Corinthians that he is, that had provided thankfulness, but he thanks God always because God gave them grace. God has given us the ability to know him, to partake in the good things of this world, the good gifts that he's given us. And and what I want to challenge us today is because it's really quickly easy for us to forget why we're thankful when things are stripped from us, when our some of our freedom is taken from us, some of our natural things that we just are used to doing is taken away from us. It's easy to forget why we're thankful. So church, I just want to challenge you. What, what makes you thankful today? What are you thankful for? Man, I'm, I'm thankful for a family. I'm thankful for a church body that loves one another and supports one another and then encourages one another to continue in the word. I'm thankful for so much, but I'm thankful that God has allowed us by the grace of his name, by the grace of who he is to interact with one another. So today, just take some time, sit in his word and remember why you're thankful. May it be that Jesus has made a way for us to know the God of the universe. And may that be the sole reason today of why we are thankful for all that we have. I love you, church. We're praying for you. We're excited to see you soon. And we're going to believe for greater things to come during this time.